here for the bread. Not sure which looks best to grill. No traction. Those pretty colors in the clouds mean that it's late in the day. Doing my easy spin along the canal. It took me all day to be a human being and I had to wait until very late to ride. I'm waiting to ask someone coming the other way if they have a headwind. You just need to ask, do I have a tailwind or am I very fit? I might be very fit. I might not be. Do you have a headwind? I need to know to turn around. It's darker now. I flipped it. It appears there's no wind. So this is not a headwind and that was not a tailwind. The illusion of fitness is simply because I'm on road tires on pavement and not riding on sand or wet sand or muddy grass. Take what I can get once again. It got dark, gotta turn my blinky on. Got a chest full of bread. Last year, my mechanic Denny told me at some point uh, ride like you have a pepper up your butt. Apparently that's a saying in Belgium, question mark? A pepper on your saddle or a pepper up your butt? Um, after this chili, I feel like tomorrow I'll be riding like there's a pepper up my butt. <laughs> I mean it, way too spicy. Very spicy. It's race day. This is every morning for Siobhan and I. We sit in what Greg calls the Zen cave and we start the day. We wait for that to show a hint of light. It's still very dark. Too hot. Coffee's gone, sun is up. Time to start the day. Casual weekend entertainment, balcony side. Why did you walk over here to pee? Why? We can see you. You're not hiding. There's another one. I'm ashamed. Nobody recommended toe spikes to me. So I fell. While walking. I wasn't even running, I was walking. All right, describe the Middle Kirk course in one word. It's awkward, that's all I have to say. It's awkward, so really soupy. So a lot of the places where you would normally use momentum to go up the steep up de doos there's no momentum for the steep up de doos It's gonna be an interesting first lap for sure. It's gonna be an interesting every single lap, but that first lap, This is what they say was a muddy cross. I have never been more aware of muddy water squishing in my chamois as I was today. There were certain parts of the course where I'd like spend some time out of the saddle and then I'd go to sit down and just like, it was so gross, so gross. <laughs> so I think I got 15th. It was an okay race for me. I made a few mistakes lap one. Got some good lines, got some bad lines. In the sand, there was one line in the sand. Well, there were two lines in the sand. One line was good, one line was bad. And lap one, I my instinct is to always do what other people are not doing if I'm not in the top five. Uh, because inevitably people mess up. And if you're behind them, then you get hung out. But if you're not in their line, then you can keep going. And so I went for the line on the right. Cillin was also in that line. Cylind rode to the other line. Oh, I could not! <laughs> Made a huge gap. Gap myself. So that was fun. Made a few I was your favorite to win though, right? Yeah.
Yes! I've been following you sometime. So I was hoping that you would win. He was hoping I would win. Yeah. Next well, time she will. Yeah, see you next time. I do love this course. One day yeah. I'll podium here. Okay. Not this year. So are you team Wout or team Matthew? That's the question. In between. In between? How can you be in between? <laughs> How can you be in between? All right, who's your favorite because man to win? To this year, I'm not following them. Okay. Oh, not following. No. Because they don't have vlogs, right? Yeah. Got to get the vlog. Same place as a different day. Sunday morning before Grayton Cross? Lil? Willa? Last night I woke up every hour on the hour and checked the time. Because I thought, surely it's time to wake up now? Never was. Maybe it's still not. We'll never know. So we've made it to the venue, but we can't tell if we're just sitting in a line of parked campers or if we're in a line to enter. Wheels are spinning. <laughs> no work fast. I don't speak that language. Man, there's always one short man. Everything is very frozen. Couldn't use any water to wash the bikes because it would freeze. Sand was freezing onto the bikes. Um, my shoes are frozen on. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna get them off. Oh no. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Uh, the race went a lot better than I thought it was going to before it even started after free ride. It was bull crap, couldn't ride anything. I was making bets with myself for deals saying how long I would ride before I quit. Uh, this is my least favorite course and my least favorite conditions. You have to ride very carefully. <laughs> and uh, I was not, I'm not a careful rider and it took me a while to find the flow. And I found the flow. Uh, unfortunately, I, I have run a long cage rear derailleur to back that guy on a rut, two laps in a row, and sent my rear derailleur into crash mode. And so I had to run, ride a 4011 gearing, uh, or run all the way to the pits. And uh, so it set me back a couple of places, but I'm still happy that I maintained composure. And even after that, like my final lap, I was able to ride every single thing except one obligatory run in the barriers. I have to get naked now. Okay, bye. Seen work. Good work, guys. Their cheering section, doing bike handoffs, doing bike work. Got more work going on. Oh, so smooth, so smooth. I wonder if Felipe is going to get a new headset right now. Go Felipe! It's the rare wood ducky. We say goodbye to Felipe this weekend. You guys will say bye. Bye. I'll flip him the bird. Good riddance! And then we'll welcome him again with open arms. Stateside when we get three World Cups in a row. Sometimes I hate beautiful people. 